What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. Uh, before we get to that, today is Thursday, of course, uh, which means I missed Tuesday's video review as scheduled. And um, I apologize for that. I'm getting a, I'm in a new, drastically new schedule at work, and um, I'm still really trying to get my feet under me overall, not just with the uh, this website, but really in life. I'm trying to figure out how all that's going to work. So, um, unfortunately, I missed the... The Tuesday review, I'm still committed to doing three re three reviews uh, for the week, so you'll be seeing a, a bunch of video content coming up between today and uh, Sunday uh, to get my regularly scheduled three videos per week in. Um, this work schedule for now, I'm going to try to keep, um, especially the video side, which I've always tried to keep pretty structured um, for a Tuesday, Thursday, and then a weekend release of, of video content. The, the written stuff's always been a little bit more fluid. But I'm going to try to keep that Tuesday, Thursday weekend schedule with this this work, this new work uh, format. I can maybe see a situation where I decide I'll still be committed to doing three videos a week, but the release schedule might get a little more fluid. Um, if it gets to that, I'll formally announce it. But for now, I'm going to try to do a little bit better uh, with pre-planning and banking, really not just videos, but content in general um, for proper release and the proper release schedule of these videos so again i apologize for missing tuesday i will make it up to you and um enough talking let's get to beer and this is uh from dogfish head brewing in milton delaware this is there we go flesh and blood ipa and i think this is a particularly attractive can you see the the brewery there and then it says, a well-hopped IPA brewed with orange peel, lemon flesh, and blood orange juice. Further information from the brewers. Flesh and blood began with a ton of real citrus, including lemon flesh and blood orange juice, hence the name, plus orange and lemon peel. Then the brewers began searching for the perfect combination of hops to perfectly complement the citrus flavors. After trialing a number of different hops one by one, they emerged with Warrior and Centennial. So what, so what does this focus on? So what does this focus on simple, pure, unadulterated fruit mean in the terms of the aromatics and flavors in this beer? Flesh and blood balances the resinous, hoppy characteristics of an American IPA with the explosive, zesty fruitiness and subtle drying tartness of citrus to deliver a highly quaffable ale that's incredibly unique and lovely to down the whole year round. 7.5% ABV, 45 IBU. And only a couple of awkwardly worded sentences. Um, still a lot of great content there. A lot of great information there from Dogfish Head. And especially in, compared to some of the uh, breweries I've seen of late. Um, very appreciative for all that information. So let me pour this into my mug. I'm running a little low on beer glasses. So this is where it had to go. Uh, perfectly clear, or I should say pretty well clear, not perfectly clear, but uh, pretty well clear. Uh, bronze orange color, I would say. As I hold up to the light, uh, it's more of a, a pure orange. I feel like I can see a little bit better in the light, a little bit of uh, material swirling around. But again, I mean, it's fairly well see through. I can see my fingers quite well. And in fair detail on the opposite side. So just a little bit of haze, I guess I would say, to this beer. A little bit of carbonation I can see shooting up through the glass, but really not much to it. Not much head. Uh, some larger white bubbles, but really not much to it. All right, let's give it a try. Hmm. Uh, that's definitely an IPA that is right up my alley. Plenty of those citrus fruits, and we'll break it down. But I feel like the the overriding initial um, flavor profile, flavor flavor feeling is more of the the citrus fruit rinds. Yeah. So the uh, I was just taking a gander through the uh, through the description again. The orange and lemon peel that they reference, I think, are really the biggest the biggest flavor piece of this beer. Uh, plenty of citrus. Uh, definitely getting lemon. Um, 
maybe a little bit of grapefruit. That might just be some of the the flavors kind of combining together because they don't mention grapefruit specifically. Uh, a little bit of that orange as well, of course. Plenty of fruit, but not super sweet. Actually, I think it's pretty well balanced uh, in the sweetness. Nicely balanced in that sweetness. Mouthfeel has just a little bit of juiciness to it. Honestly, I expected a little more. I'm not really necessarily disappointed in the mild juiciness of the mouthfeel, but the way they were talking about blood orange juice and so forth and being such a, a citrus-heavy beer, citrus-heavy IPA, I expected a little bit more in that mouthfeel. But again, not necessarily disappointed by by the, the mouthfeel of the beer. Real nice, almost a little bit of a, a refreshing kick to it. I think that maybe comes from the some of the brighter citrus, like the lemon. Uh, so they talk. It's, it really, as they say, it ends up being a kind of a year-round IPA. It's a new offering for them, relatively new, but seems to be a, a, a appropriate for year-round. So you know, summertime on the porch, or just you know, just after drink uh, mowing the drinking the lawn, mowing the lawn, uh, and so forth. But it also has enough kind of heft to it to be able to endure some seasons where a heavier beer is typically uh, more desired. But yeah, nice uh, nice tart citrus notes. Um, kind of what they intended, but generally uh, kind of just one or two notes overall, the kind of the citrus and then the, the citrus rinds. But uh, right up my alley for an IPA, I can promise you. And so if you're if you're big on kind of the more the more recent kick of these uh, citrus powered IPAs, uh, that'll be for you. So that is uh, the Dogfish Head, Flesh and Blood, and that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my videos, both video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those links and usernames in the description below. And if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.